I was on the board of the CFDA. Do you not remember oh, me? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I know. It's been a long time. Yeah. yeah. Was a fun How long have you been at the helm of the CFDA? 18 years. 18 years? 18 years. My 18 CFDA awards. God, that's incredible. How do you feel like it's changed from when you started till now? Well, I think it's changed in, well, certainly when Diane became chairman or chair of the board, she took it to a different level, right? She's just, just like a global personality and she's just a big idea thinker. And, uh, and so it became what was just an instrumental industry organization too. And I think it was kind of like a global public facing organization. And then we had Tom Ford and he kind of took her big ideas and just refined them a little bit, right? Tom was always about, well, why are we doing that? How come we have to do that? And that was actually a good reset for the organization, right. particularly right before the pandemic. And that was something he had during his term. So he kind of really just tightened up the bigness and really brought focus. And now, of course, we have Tom, Tom Brown. Ford. Tom, uh, Tom Ford to Tom and Brown. Alan. <laughs> and, uh, and Tom, I think, is just, he's a global, iconic designer, but he's a different generation than mm -hmm. Tom Ford and Diane. So I think there's something more contemporary about his belief and creativity, his focus on his work that young designers can kind of really relate to and aspire yeah. to because he, and consistently that's, true. that's what he doubled down on. So creativity, true. creativity, creativity. So true, so innovative. I'm just curious, what do you think made Erica Badu the icon this year? Well, that's an interesting question because you were on the board, so you remember. I Those do. were some of the funnest meetings and conversations. Yes. And there were a lot of ideas that were thrown around. And honestly, she wasn't one of the first names that came up. And when her name came up, it seemed like a logical, obvious choice. When people heard that she was our style icon, our fashion icon, they were like, huh? And then like, oh, I get it. For her, really, it's her individuality. For sure. Um, it's her uniqueness and her love of fashion. You'll hear her tonight speak how when she got news of the award, she was like, yes, finally. Like, she's not somebody we had to ask. Right. She wanted the award. And I she love that. She deserved it. I I love that. That and makes so, me so happy. And I think too, with the world right now, and kind of going into some hopefully not too dark times, we're often told what to do, what to wear, how to act, and she's the complete opposite every role. of that. And we breaks need more every, of that. I 100% agree with you. That's great. Yeah. Well, enjoy. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you for doing this. I'm so excited to be here.